You don't need an appointment and you don't need to be a techie to set up and activate your Midco TV streaming services. To get started, you should make sure your Midco internet is on and your TV is off. Have your Wi-Fi name, Google ID and passwords at the ready. Or, instead of connecting via Wi-Fi, you can connect using an Ethernet cord to connect your Midco TV to your internet. Take all the equipment out of your Midco TV kit. The kit includes a Midco TV box, power cord, HDMI cable, remote control with AAA batteries included, and your quick start guide. Lay everything out where you can see it so it's all ready to connect. Then, connect the HDMI cord to your Midco TV box and plug the other end of the HDMI cord into the TV. There are two ways to connect a Midco TV device to the internet. Using an ethernet cord is an optional step to establish a hardwired connection to your internet. If you're using an ethernet cord, connect that now too. If you don't use an ethernet cord, Midco TV will connect wirelessly to your Wi-Fi. You'll set this connection up shortly. Now, make sure all connections are plugged in correctly, and you're ready to plug your Midco TV box into power. Use your regular TV remote to turn on your television. Using your TV remote, match the TV input setting to the same HDMI input you use to connect to your Midco TV box. Be sure to use your TV remote for this step, not the Midco TV remote. Once your input is set, it's time to go through the on-screen instructions. These may vary in order based on your specific setup experience, but you can expect to pair your Midco TV remote. When pairing, keep your remote three to six feet away from the equipment. This helps the Midco TV box pick up the remote signal. If at any time you experience issues with your remote, try replacing the two AAA batteries. Test the new AAA batteries by pressing a button like the TiVo button to ensure that the indicator lights up at the top of the remote. You'll also set language preferences and connect to your in-home Wi-Fi. That is, if you're not using a hardwired Ethernet connection. You'll also sign into your Google account if you have an existing login. This is optional and can be done later, but will enable you to download apps from the Google Play Store and enjoy using them on your Midco TV equipment. You'll also walk through a few other screens including terms and conditions, location, name, features, one pass recording setup, and streaming apps. Finally, you'll reach the Midco TV home screen to start watching and enjoying Midco TV. To get the most out of your new Midco TV service, download the Midco TV app on your mobile phones and tablets. That way you can watch live TV and schedule recordings right at your fingertips. Thanks for watching and happy streaming! Find more resources for remote programming, troubleshooting, and more at midco.com forward slash Midco TV support.